There are some lockers here and... God! Oh, no, my God. Seriously. This granny and she came to the kitchen. Now we need to somehow deceive her and try to escape from her. To find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. <laughs> There's a puking Pomni here today. Hello, everyone, friends. Today we will play a game about a very scary granny. Are you really going to play horror today? Guys, we're actually recording this video at night. I think I might get really scared. Don't worry, Kane. You can just close your eyes and play this game with your eyes closed. No one will judge you, especially since you don't play horror games like that every time. Okay, it looks like we are entering some very scary house now. And by the way, this house looks quite rich. Are you really a special granny living here? It is possible that this house was actually abandoned long ago, and they settled there as homeless people. Your theory sounds much more logical. Okay, now our character decides to go further, despite the fact that the door closed right behind his back. I think I would have already tried to climb back over this fence. I think it was the most idiotic decision of his life and he will regret it. Oh no, it looks like the wooden bridge has also risen up and now a huge ravine separates us from freedom. It looks like now we have no other choice but to go into this house. And by the way, there is some kind of car here. And it looks like we will have to leave here in it. It looks like our character is going to enter this house now, but it seems to me that everything will not be so easy. Oh no, look, it's some old man with a shotgun and now he's going to shoot at us. It seems to me that after a shot at such a short distance, our main character should have died. But it looks like the game is just beginning and our hero will soon regain consciousness. The first day of our survival here has begun. I really hope that we will still be able to escape from this house. Okay, it looks like we woke up in some basement behind a closed door, and right next to this door there is a master key. Now with the help of this master key, we should open this door and start exploring this very creepy basement. It seems to me that this will be a really rather difficult task. Okay, well, let's open this door now. It seems to me that behind this door, we should find something new and interesting. I hope that this grandpa didn't hear us opening this door because it seems to me that in that case, he will come down here and head to kill us. And by the way, it looks like we weren't the only victims here. Okay, this way we can get out of this basement, but there was another route. Let's see what's behind this door. And it looks like there's a hatch to go down to some other basement, but for it, we need a key. And here we can go even lower, and it looks like some very secret basement. There are some lockers here, and... God! I was really scared. It seems that besides Grandpa and Grandma, there are some other hostile entities here, and this ghost really scared me very much. I hope that we will never meet her again, but let's try to go down below. Wait, what is this subway? Okay, it looks like there is a subway right under this building, and it looks like this is some kind of machine that checks for tickets from passengers. I think it caused an alarm. I think right now, because of this noise, someone should definitely come down to us and punish us for getting out of this prison cell. Oh no, it looks like it's that same grandpa and he starts shooting at us. It seems to me that his gun shoots rubber bullets because if it was a firearm, then we would definitely have died after the first shot. He came up, hit us, and we lost consciousness again. It looks like the second day of our escape is about to begin. Okay, this game is really the weirdest. I would really like to know the motive of this old man because of which he constantly holds us hostage. Maybe they want to ask for a ransom for us or something like that. It seems to me that these are just some crazy old maniacs who settled in someone's house and equipped it so that they could attract their victims here. I think we should open the second prison cell and see. Maybe there is some interesting loot there. I hope that this skeleton doesn't come to life and try to kill us because I think that's quite possible in this game. But no, it looks like there's really nothing useful here and this skeleton isn't going to attack us either. Now we'll try to go straight into this house. I'm already getting extremely scared here because at any moment we can be noticed here. Oh no, look, it's that same grandpa again. And at that moment, he was going down the steps while we were trying to see what was in this nightstand. But now we've returned back to the dungeon and hid from him behind this door. I really hope that he won't come here after us. It's very strange that they are actually walking around the first floor. I really hope that now we will wait a little while until this old man stops looking for us and go back to the second floor. Because I'm not going to hide here the whole game. Oh no my god. Seriously. She was standing right behind us the whole time? I feel like this house is really unsafe and there's no way to hide from anyone. Okay, now we need to try to get out of this house again. 
There is a door ahead that can lead us straight outside. By the way, look! It turns out that there were matches in this closet all this time, and there is also a shotgun shell on the table. We need a shotgun to use it. Oh no, seriously? Is this Grandma again? Okay, looks like we can go back now. I hope that in this house there will be no more than three innate entities, namely Granny, Grandpa, and that very ghost that scared us. By the way, I am very interested in whether this Granny is really following us into this basement. We need to check this! Oh no, it looks like she was going to go up to the second floor, but now she's going to go down to the basement after us! Okay, we need to sit in this room with the hatch again. I really hope she doesn't come here to check if we're in this room. And by the way, I also noticed that our character started to limp. Maybe we accidentally stepped into some kind of trap or something like that. It looks like our character really has some problems with his leg. Well, I really hope that this old lady will turn around and leave here now. And yes, it looks like she really has already left. Well, okay. Now we need to try to get out of this basement and try to find ways to escape from this house. It seems to me that we have been trying to find these methods for a really long time. We have already recorded almost half of the video, and we are not even close to the exit from here. By the way, this granny placed a trap here. We need to be very careful not to accidentally step on it, and it looks like this is a room that has a closet in which we can hide. Okay, now we know that this is a safe area. Now I think we need to continue exploring this house. I think we should try to look at the other rooms here. Maybe they have something that will be really useful. Okay, it looks like there is another closet here, but it is completely empty. And now we are in the kitchen. I think we should explore all the closets that are here. It seems to me that there is really nothing useful here. This house as a whole is absolutely empty, but it seems that there is also something like an elevator here. And I think that we will definitely try to use it in order to safely get to the second floor. Oh no! This granny and she came to the kitchen. Now we need to somehow deceive her and try to escape from her. By the way, we took some kind of wooden log with us, and I have no idea where we can use it. Okay, it looks like we can now escape from this granny, and I am happy with the fact that even with one damaged leg, we move faster than her. Now, we need to go into that very safe room and lock ourselves in the closet until this granny leaves. It seems that this granny is really extremely blind, because it seems to me that it is impossible not to notice a person through these huge holes in the lid of the cabinet. I think she won't even go into this room. In fact, this is really the maximum. It's strange that this granny really walks around the whole house, and it's really very difficult to hide from her. Well, okay, now I think we should leave here and try to go outside. Maybe we'll find something useful there. Okay, now we're outside. I think we should explore the entire area around the house so that we can try to find something really useful here. And it looks like there's a chopping block right behind the house. I really want to know, what do these people really need it for? And it looks like there's also a door that leads straight to the kitchen. Okay, that's really useful. And we also picked up some really weird rock here and I think we're going to need it. Okay, it looks like there's a shed behind the house and this granny is walking right on the property. Okay, now let's go back to the kitchen and I think we should try using the elevator that can take us up. Yes, I also think that we should try to explore the other floors in this house because so far we have explored almost the entire first floor and also explored the courtyard around the house. It looks like there's a third floor here besides the second one, but I think we're exploring the second one now. Oh no, did you hear that? It looks like someone spotted us, and now one of these characters is trying to catch up with us. But we found some teddy bear. I think we should stay here. It looks like some kind of bug because no one has come here for us and tried to kill us yet. Okay, I think we should wait. It's possible that someone will appear from around the corner and run after us. Just look. The door opened and now Granny is coming here. I think we need to use this elevator to go down. Okay, we're downstairs. In fact, it seems to me that exploring this house is really impossible, but I really want to try to complete this game. Okay, now I think we should call the elevator so that it goes back down. It seems to me that now someone can come after us in this kitchen, but I really hope that this will not really happen. Oh no, just look. Grandpa came here. He's trying to kill us with a shotgun. This elevator really moves very slowly, but now we really need to try to get up on this elevator so that Grandpa doesn't shoot us. 
Okay, I think we've explored quite a large part of this house today, and now I suggest we move straight to the next game. But if you like this game, then be sure to like it and write about it in the comments so that we can record the second part of the walkthrough. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will escape from my prison. Really? The developers even made you the boss of the prison? Seriously? Looks like I'm the only one left who has never been added Prison Break Barry. Actually, I've already seen prisons with your participation, and it seems to me that you're going a little too far. In fact, Jax is one of the main characters. I think we started this conversation in vain. By the way, did you notice that in this game there was a completely different rise? I have never even seen someone make a red spiral staircase in the first level. I hope this won't be the only difference from the original Barry Prison Break. By the way, just look! Someone added a ball pit here! And it seems that the developers have added a huge number of different incomprehensible objects that greatly interfere with the view. And because of this, it is very difficult to see Jax. But that didn't stop us from escaping from him. Just look, he's still trying to catch up with us. It seems to me that if his physique in this game was the same as in real life, then he would run much faster. But in this game, all the bosses must be pot-bellied, otherwise this game wouldn't be called Barry's Prison Escape. And now you need to run forward through this ventilation straight to the toilet. It seems to me that the toilet rooms in these games always remain the same. The only thing the developer has added here is an installation in the form of our digital circus and a huge number of donated skins that no one will buy. So now, let's dig up this tunnel and find ourselves straight in the dungeon. Wow! The developer made this dungeon red and for some reason added a huge amount of marine paraphernalia such as whales and treasure chests here. It seems to me that these items are superfluous here, but in any case, they at least make a little difference to this game. Okay, now we need to move on. We have already crossed this bridge and now we need to overcome this corridor with sharp spikes. By the way, in this corridor, the developers made the distance between the platforms really huge and because of this, it became very difficult to jump over these pits. But we managed to cope with it anyway, because we are already real professionals in this game, and it seems to me that if we try to speedrun this game, we will definitely go to the leaderboard. By the way, did you know that the speedrun record for this map is 42 seconds? Well, actually, this is possible with the help of bugs in this game, and I think that our viewers will not be interested in watching 42 seconds of gameplay. Now, let's try to escape from this Jax Knight. He is very actively running after us! Oh no! I think he's stuck in the wall! For some reason, he can't run straight after us. Well, okay, we need to wait until he gets here. Oh no! Unfortunately, this chest turned out to be opaque, and because of this, we could not escape from Jax. It's good that we managed to turn the lever, and now we can just run through this room to the exit. It's very cool that the developers left this option here. Otherwise, with this bugged boss, we would have had to try for a very long time to escape from this location. And now we need to climb these dilapidated steps to the top, and we will find ourselves straight into the next test. I really hope that the next test will also be changed somehow. And by the way, the developer also added some strange objects in this corridor. For example, on this wall, he again added an installation in the form of our amazing digital circus. We've already seen this installation in other modes, but I can't remember which ones. Okay, now let's grab this energy drink and start running this race. By the way, in this race, the developer left the platforms in the same places where they are always located and therefore we will pass this test without any special difficulties because we have already passed similar tests a huge number of times. By the way, we are going through this game quite quickly. Only 220 seconds have passed and we have already finished the race with energy drinks. I think we could actually do a speed run for this game. But if it only lasts 40 seconds, then we'll just add it at the start of the next Jailbreak game. And if our subscribers like this idea, write the word speed run in the comments so that we can still do it. I think this is a great idea. Now let's put this ladder right under the ventilation and try to climb up this ventilation to the very top. It seems to me that Jax has really learned how to do this very well, because he can do it on the first try. In general, it's really quite strange that he really managed to do it on the first try, because when I tried to play this game, it absolutely didn't work out for me. But it seems to me that Jax has truly become a champion in completing this game. Okay, now we need to complete two of our least favorite tasks in order to move on. Oh yes, I really hate going through those tests, and I was hoping that at least in my prison someone would change them, but unfortunately they remain the same. I really hope that one of the developers will actually watch our videos and fix something here.
but it seems to me that we have been dreaming about this for about six months and no one has done it. Okay, let's turn the last valve and finally escape from this mission. It seems to me that it really is the most boring in the world because the other tests change at least a little. And these tests remain the same because absolutely nothing changes here. It seems to me that the developers should work on this a little. At least I hope that one of them will change the location of these valves and make a different arrangement of platforms. In general, I'm very angry at the fact that the developers continue to remake the first part of Barry's Prison Escape at a time when the second part has already been released. And it is much cooler than the first because the tests there are much more interesting and they are much more diverse. I really hope that soon the developers will start remaking Barry's Prison Break 2. Don't sell see, By the way, in this race with fans, the developers changed the distance between the platforms. They made it bigger! They also added cubes as obstacles, and it really made this challenge a little more difficult. I think such changes are very cool. Okay, now we've made the jump in this wind tunnel, and we're heading straight to the penultimate boss in the game. Here, we will need to defeat the boss chef with a bazooka. And I really hope that we will really be able to do this. Let's now run straight to this bazooka in order to take it and finally finish off this boss. I really hope that he won't throw a lot of food at us because, because of this, he can slow us down and kill us with his frying pan. It looks like he's already starting to throw food at us, but I really like the fact that every shot takes away his HP. Because some bosses don't die right away. Wait, what just happened? Did this boss really push us beyond the textures with a blast wave? Okay, looks like this is another developer flaw. It looks like we should stop doing this bug because the last time all the explosions are pointing us slightly in the wrong direction. Therefore, I think that now we will need to try to move as far as possible from the explosion so that we can go down this slide on our own and not waste extra time on various bugs. We only have two tests left before meeting the final boss. Now we will need to fly past the lasers in this wind tunnel. By the way, the textures in this wind tunnel are really very strange. They look like we're moving up some kind of intestine or something. But in any case, it doesn't look like walls at all. It looks more like some kind of meat. If you hadn't said this, I wouldn't even have noticed it. But now I feel really disgusted by the feeling that we are climbing up someone's insides. Okay, it seems to me that the developers should really change the texture here a little, because they even made the walls of this location with these textures, and it really looks as disgusting as possible. Let's stop thinking about it and imagine that this is actually some kind of pink caramel or something like that. At least we are now moving on these platforms and they have metallic sounds. Okay, we've reached the final boss, and it's a giant mechanical robot me with machine guns. Let's shoot at his hands to defeat him. I think this is the only sure way to defeat the bosses in Barry's prison break. At least it's much better than continuing to shoot at the body of this robot. Because in this way, we reduce the number of machine guns in his hands, due to which his next attack becomes weaker. This guy didn't even live to see his attack because we killed him. And by the way, it seems to me that the physics of this game are really very bad because this robot pushed us away again during its explosion. Well, we finally beat this game. It took us 520 seconds. Now let's head straight to the next game. Hello everyone, friends. And today we will play one very unusual game, but you think it's very strange that it's me who starts this video? It's very simple. Today we will need to look for circus characters, and as soon as we find them, they will be able to speak. Okay, you finally found me. Well, it looks like we will need to find 66 characters today, and now we will start searching for the rest. Do you really want to jump into this hole? It seems to me that it is very dangerous there. No, it seems to me that this is the most ordinary cave of the Gloink Queen. Now let's look for the rest of the characters here. This cave is quite big. I didn't think it would be so gigantic. Oh, by the way, look, it's Zubal. I didn't think that you would find me third, and I hoped that I would remain silent for most of this video. But it looks like now I will have to talk with you. And we also found Gloinks here. But for some reason they are called Goinks. This really sounds very strange. Okay, looks like there was another secret passage here. And there is a Goink here too. We need to get them out of here and move on. We found the first purple and second yellow goings here. Well, it looks like there's nothing else in this secret cave. Now let's get out of here. It seems to me that there are still some secrets in the second cave that we have not found. I think we need to climb this tower of blocks. By the way, look, it's Pomni at the top. You found me, guys. Great, now the four of us can talk. 
By the way, we haven't found a huge number of characters here yet. I wonder who will be the last. I really wish it was a gummy goo because to be honest, it annoys me all the time. And by the way, we found another version of me and a star. Now I think we need to go to another location because there is nothing else left here that we haven't noticed. Okay, I think there are still characters in the main lobby that we didn't notice. Oh, by the way, look, it's Kane. He's standing right on the mushroom. And now I'm in the game too. Great job, guys. I didn't think you'd find me so quickly, although it wasn't fast at all. Now let's go to the Candy Kingdom. You were in second place among those whom I don't want to find today. Well, okay, now I'll have to hear you too. And now we find ourselves in the Candy Kingdom, and here a bubble greets us. Hello, everyone, guys. And now I will communicate with you. It took you a little more than two minutes to find me, although it was quite easy. Well, now let's explore the Candy Kingdom and find here something we didn't find before. Okay, there was another gloink here that we didn't find, and it seems to me that there are really a lot of them here. Now let's climb this beautiful arc and find the regatta. Seriously? Have you been looking for me for so long? Guys, I didn't think it would take you so much time to find me. Okay, we only have three of our friends left to find. I really hope we do this quickly. On the second arc was the ghost buddy. Okay, it looks like there are characters here that our viewers haven't even seen yet. This really makes me very happy. This means that the developers tried very hard to really add everyone here. The strangest thing is that they didn't even add me here. Okay, look, we found Kaufmo, and it looks like this is some kind of unusual version of him. Okay, now let's go into the second room and see who's hiding there. This is some strange guy in my cap. Okay, looks like this is some kind of local meme from the developer. Now let's move on and see who else we haven't found here. And here is another character, and this is a red glowing! Okay, looks like we really found everything we can in this location. I think we can move on. Actually, no. Here's another skin of mine that we haven't found before. But now I think that we can definitely move on. I feel like we haven't explored the lobby well enough. There are a lot of other characters here. And by the way, look! It's a gangle! Are you guys serious? I was silent for almost half of the video. Although it seems to me that Gummy Goo and Kinger are even more upset than me because they still haven't been found. It seems to me that Jax is not specifically looking for Gummy Goo so as not to hear him today. And by the way, we found another form of Gangle. Okay, now we need to continue exploring the lobby location. I don't think we've explored that Ferris wheel well enough. One of the characters definitely needs to be there. And by the way, yes, just look. It's Kinger, and it's at the top. Actually, this is my female version, and to be honest, I don't even understand why she is here. But it looks like this is my only chance to talk in this game. Now let's go look for the rest of the characters. Or rather, the rest of the character. Do we really need him? It seems to me that we can perfectly look for the rest of the characters without him. For example, look! There was the moon, and at the top of this huge tent is the sun. Don't be so stubborn, Jax! He is also our friend, and he must be in this video with us. By the way, it looks like there are three of our uniforms inside this tent. There is me, the king, and also the red glowing. In fact, I myself really want to find Gummy Goo, but I can't imagine where it could be. We really explored a huge number of locations and found nothing. I think we should go to another location where he definitely should be. Wow, guys, look! There is some kind of fairy here that we can get together on. But we need to overcome these insanely bouncy water lilies, and it seems to me that it will be very difficult. Last jump? Great! Finally, we are here. By the way, there is a regatta here, and it looks like we can jump inside this pipe. Look! There are two strange guys here who have put on the costumes of our characters. It looks like these are the developers of this game, and they decided to hide themselves here. It looked very cute. Okay, I think that in this location we can definitely find our jelly crocodile because he was here in the cartoon. And by the way, look, there is a chocolate monster here. It was quite difficult to find it, but fortunately we managed to do it. I think we need to go to this huge truck because it seems to me that our jelly crocodile should definitely be here somewhere. Okay, let's climb on it. Oh, by the way, look who I see. It's him. Okay, we finally collected all our characters. Six damn minutes. Really? Are you guys kidding me? I was silent for six whole minutes. And why didn't you want to look for me, Jax? Let's not talk about it. By the way, 
We just found another skin here, and it looks like this is really the most difficult location in this game, because it seems to me that there was no need to jump so much in any of the other locations. And by the way, just look, it's Orbiz Man. It's very strange that even he is here, but the Candy Princess is not here. But we found it, and it seems to me that I still see some kind of secret button on the wall. Yes, just look. Using this secret button, we opened some kind of passage and found an extremely difficult skin. Looks like this is one of the rarest skins in this game. Okay, now I think we can try to go back. But it seems to me that we have not yet fully explored this location. It seems to me that there is definitely some other secret passage here. By the way, just look. One of these jellies also has some kind of skin, and now we need to figure out how we get to it. Look, another blue chocolate monster is hiding here. Okay, it looks like it was really very difficult to find because it is of medium rarity. Now let's try to climb up these jelly beans to collect the last skin in this location. It turns out that this candy was very bouncy, and now we were able to jump up on it. And now we need to jump on these jellies in order to get to the last skin in this location. And it was Kinga again. This is very cool. Wow, this is really the corridor of our circus. Okay, it looks like we have to find a really large number of skins here. We've already found three skins, and it looks like this will be the most skin-rich location. Okay, it looks like we need to explore all the rooms here. Well, the rooms of some characters are closed. Unfortunately, we were only able to find ourselves in Jax's room, and for some reason there was a Pomni skin in this room, and maybe that means something. It seems to me that this means that he is secretly in love with her, but he does not want to admit it, and even now he will definitely say that this is not so, but I think that everyone understands perfectly well what is really the matter. This is precisely the reason I didn't want to look for you. Only two minutes have passed. How can you talk? But you're already talking complete nonsense. Okay, it looks like the rest of the rooms in this location are closed, and we need to teleport to some new location, in which there will be new skins. Now we find ourselves in a winter location, and now we need to get to the Frozen King! Great! We found an event skin! And now I think we should continue to explore this entire location in order to find new skins here too! There definitely must be something in this tent. Look, it's me, Santa. Okay, it looks like this location has really cool skins, and we found two skins here. I think it's time to finish the winter location, and we can go to a new location that we haven't seen yet. And we found ourselves in a secret location which is located behind the textures. By the way, looks. There is some kind of staircase made of cubes along which we need to get to the top and open a new skin. This is a purple jelly crocodile. Cool. Now, let's see what other secret skins are here. Oh, okay, I guess. Now we'll grab the last secret skin that's in this secret room and head straight to the next game. And if you like this game, be sure to write about it in the comments and we will play it again. Today we will go straight to Pomni's mouth. By the way, our last few attempts to play this game were unsuccessful. I think this was solely due to the fact that Jax does not know how to regulate the speed. But I think that today, we will be able to adjust the speed so that we can complete this entire route perfectly. In fact, this kart race is not as difficult as it seems. We recently played a game that was much more difficult than this. You mean the disaster kart ride? Oh yes, this game was really very difficult. I hope this game will be much easier. It seems to me that the disaster kart race is really a very difficult game because in it we realize that we do not know how to regulate the speed of the cart. Wait, are you saying that you managed to play the disaster kart race and didn't record a video about it? I think our subscribers will be very angry about this. Oh yeah, looks like we accidentally spilled the beans. Well, I hope that this really won't be the reason that our subscribers will be very angry with us. At least I wouldn't want that. In any case, if they really want us to go through this game with them, then they can write comments about it, and we will definitely do it. Now we will go through this particular game. Yes, this really sounds logical, and it seems to me that we have a much better chance of completing this particular game completely, because in this game, everything is a little simpler. I thought we were never looking for easy games, but it seems that today is an exception. By the way, this creepy Pomni watches the players very scary and I always feel uneasy when she looks in our direction. Well, yes, I also felt extremely uncomfortable when I watched us. Wow, just look, this girl is ahead of us. It looks like she's moving forward at a speed much faster than ours. 
but it seems that today Jax decided to drive only at one speed in order to actually complete this game to the end. This is the first time I've seen Jax actually do that because he's usually flying forward at top speed on that damn cart. And it seems to me that today he really has a great desire to complete this game to the end. Yes, I was surprised to see this too. Usually every time we lost this game solely because Jax decided to increase the speed of the cart because of this, he flew off the rails. But it looks like today he really wants to drive forward at a moderate speed. And by the way, this tactic really works well. Maybe she will help us complete this game today. I hope this won't look extremely boring, because now we're just going up on the cart at the same speed. And I hope that this cart climb will really not be in vain, because I really want to get to the very end of this game. I think that everything will be fine, and we will definitely be able to get to the very end of this game. By the way, we have already completed the first spiral climb. This is really quite a big progress. It seems to me that this is about half of the entire route or something like that. But it seems to me that we are still far from the middle of the route. Now we need to drive through this very winding road. It seems to me that we should slow down slightly, although in fact it is possible that even at this speed we can perfectly complete this route. I think we have really chosen the most ideal speed for passing this game. And now we need to concentrate on not falling down. Although it seems to me that at this speed we can, in principle, take our hands off the keyboard and mouse and just drive forward because our cart rides very steadily along these rails. In fact, I'm surprised that we really managed to find the ideal speed and we didn't even leave this route a little. We really just move forward and that's it. But actually, I think it would be much cooler if we could get to the final point a little faster. I don't think we should experiment with the speed of our cart. We are at great risk of ending up at the bottom because of this route. I really wouldn't want that. I really want to complete this game to the very end today. I hope this speed will help us do it. Guys, don't worry. I'm not going to increase the speed of our cart. It seems to me that this is really pointless because we are already happy. We are doing a good job with moving and it seems to me that we are really as close as possible to getting to the finish line. I really hope that on the second difficult as we climb, we won't fall off this track. Is today going to be the first time in a very long time that we actually get to the finish line? It seems to me that this is really impossible, but I will be very glad if we really find ourselves at the finish line today, because it has been a long time since we completed the cart races to the very end. I am sure that today will be an exception, at least because we are still going through the map in Roblox, which was created in honor of me. I will be your lucky mascot here, and I hope that this will really help us find the end of this route. I think you're exaggerating. I hope this doesn't sound rude, but it seems to me that this is just a normal, easy cart race that we need to do. It seems to me that having you on our team does not add to our likelihood of winning here. This really sounded as rude as possible, and I hope that after this game, you will apologize to her. But for now, let's just forget about it and continue on our route. In fact, we have very little left to complete this game to the end. Now, we need to go through this winding path and then we will go straight to the most difficult last climb. I really hope that the last climb will not be the reason why we will not be able to reach the end of this route. At least it seems to me that we should definitely be able to reach the end here, and it seems to me that if we do not change the speed of the cart, then we will definitely be able to do this. I think that Jax is not stupid enough to change the speed of this cart right now. It seems to me that now he should be focused on just moving forward no matter what and going up without the help of any accelerations. Now all we have to do is turn right, go down this slope, then turn left and go up to the very top. It seems to me that we will very soon find ourselves at the very top of this race. Yes, we really have very little left. It's because of this that I'm starting to get a little nervous because it seems to me that at any moment we could fly down this track and all our efforts will be in vain. But I really hope that this won't happen. And now we'll rise along this spiral climb to the top. I think you shouldn't be so nervous. In fact, we walked this entire route absolutely beautiful. It seems to me that now there's definitely nothing that can stop us from being at the very top of this rise. So now we just have to concentrate on making sure that Jax doesn't change the speed of this cart. 
Guys, stop saying this. I'm not going to speed up this cart. I just want to get to the very finish line, and that's it. By the way, I find it rather strange that this game is not being used as background for any podcast or anything like that. I think you've seen shorts on YouTube or a video on TikTok where they show the gameplay of some game like Subway Surfers at the bottom and a podcast or some other nonsense at the top. I think I'm starting to understand what you're talking about. Yeah, I also think this game would be really great as a background for a podcast or something like that, because I think this game is very relaxing. And addictive! Actually, it is. It's very calming when you just sit and watch some guy with a boombox go upstairs in a cart. By the way, we have almost reached the very top of this climb. We only have a few turns left, and we will finally find ourselves at the finish line where we can finally increase the speed of our cart. I think we shouldn't take risks because it seems to me that the developer of this game could have added some kind of trap at the very end of this race, thanks to which we may not reach the finish line being right next to it. So I think we should continue to move at the same speed. I think Jax won't listen to you. He will simply be able to drive forward and increase his speed. It seems to me that it is even pointless to dissuade him from this idea because we are really going up for quite a long time, and it seems to me that accelerating at the finish line is the best idea of all. I actually agree with him. It seems to me that we will really be much better off if we speed up the speed of our cart at the finish line. And by the way, we are almost there. We have one climb left and one left turn. I can't believe we finally almost reached the finish line. I think this is very cool. I really wanted to complete this game today, and so let's start accelerating our cart in order to drive straight to the finish line at full speed and see what's hiding at the finish line. Great, we are going much faster and right now we will be at the finish line of this game. I really can't believe it. Great, we finally got here and now we are at the final location with various boosts. Hooray, we are finally here and I can't even believe that we were able to do this. It would be very cool if we had the opportunity to choose some kind of boost here with the help of which we can start flying up to other players who are in the middle of this route and start disturbing them. It sounds pretty cruel, but I think it's a really fun way to have fun. Well, it looks like all we can do here is increase our speed and add a trail that will go straight behind us. Okay, it looks like we really don't have the ability to use other boosts, so let's run forward along these rails at high speed right now. I think this is a pretty stupid idea because it seems to me that moving along one rail will be really very difficult and therefore we won't be able to have as much fun as we want. But I already see a player who has almost reached the finish line and I think it would be really great if we could catch up with her. Now we need to figure out which way we can go down so that we can stop this player. Okay, we're finally at the bottom, right in front of her, and now we need to increase the speed of her cart so that she flies off this track. I really hope that we can actually do this. Okay. We increased her speed. Now let's turn on her cart. Wait, seriously? Did this cart crash into us? Okay. Looks like we're not really going to have any fun in this game, so I suggest moving straight to the next game. Is this like a game about a piece of meat? Or did I misunderstand something? It seems to me that this looks as stupid as possible. You're right, Kane. This is really a game about a piece of meat that needs to be cooked in all possible ways. Don't you think that even sounds retarded? Not to mention what it looks like. I look at the face of this piece of meat and I want to close this game as soon as possible. It seems to me that vegetarians will find it extremely unpleasant to watch this game. But here we can really beat this piece of meat with a hammer or cut it with a knife. I thought all candy people were vegetarians. Well, okay, let's now see all the possible animations in this game. There are quite a lot of them here. But unfortunately, we can open most of these animations only with the help of meat balls that we earn for beating this piece of meat. In fact, this sound with which we beat it creates some kind of beat. It seems to me that Kanye West could sample this and insert it into his track. It seems to me that in this case, it would be the most idiotic track in the world. Well, By the well, way, there well, are a huge well, number well, of different well. animations that we can use. It seems to me that accumulating 10,000 meatballs will be simply impossible. This is really a lot. And the most expensive animation here costs 36,000. It seems to me that it will take forever to earn it. Hello, everyone, friends. Today, we will play a game about Steak Charlie. I think this is the main goal of this game. But in fact, I would really like to cook this steak because it seems to me that this raw meat is absolutely not edible. It seems to me that I would never eat a steak that has eyes and a mouth, especially that scary toothy mouth this guy has.
I wouldn't say that this steak looks scary, but rather it looks like some very stupid face. And by the way, it seems to me that after such blows with a hammer, all these teeth should fall out. Let's see what other possibilities there are in this game. Okay, it looks like the more points we score in this game, the more fried our meat will be. But it seems to me that it's simply impossible to earn 100,000 here. By the way, there is also some strange mini-game here. It looks like here we need to catch stakes that fall from the sky. Okay, later. We also get meatballs for this mini-game. Let's try to earn maximum points in this game. This game really looks super stupid. I thought that there were no games dumber than some modes in Roblox, but it seems to me that it's dumber than this game. I haven't seen anything yet. Well, okay, let's try to look at all the gameplay available in this game. It seems to me that this is a really super stupid game. Okay, now we need to catch as many stakes as possible that fall from the sky. And by the way, we are doing pretty well. I think this is the most fun thing you can do in this game. I hope now we will be able to break the record we set before. By the way, it seems to me that this game is really very old because the graphics in this game are even worse than in Roblox. I didn't think that anywhere there were worse graphics than in Roblox, to be honest. In fact, the graphics in Roblox are not as bad as you say. By the way, have you noticed that Jax has been playing for a very long time? It looks like this time we will actually be able to break the record. We did a great job, and we were able to hold out for a full 22 seconds. I think this is a really cool result. In fact, if you hadn't said some nonsense at that moment while I was extremely concentrated, I would have been able to play this game a lot longer. Well now, let's continue to comprehend this mind-blowing, stunning, amazing, and mega-exciting gameplay of this game. By the way, that was sarcasm. In fact, I even believe for a second that you really think this game is very interesting. Well, okay, let's continue looking at these animations. But it seems to me that today we definitely won't be able to earn 10,000 points for new animations. It seems to me that for this you need to be some kind of crazy and sit and play this game for about two hours. It seems to me that I can't stand more than 10 minutes in this game because all we do is look at how people try to mock this meat using various tools. And unfortunately, most of them are not available here. But this steak is starting to piss me off so much that it seems to me that I'm starting to regret that we don't have the opportunity to buy all the Oh, Lord. This sound with which he takes out his tongue irritates me very much. It seems to me that this is really one of the most disgusting sights here. Well, okay, let's try to do at least something useful. For example, a beat from the sounds with which we beat him. We make some kind of happy idiotic techno beat. It seems to me that we still need to try to earn meatballs to open at least the animation for 10,000. Although it seems to me that this makes absolutely no sense because this animation lasts no more than two seconds and sitting in this game for an hour just to see a two second animation seems to me the most idiotic thing you can think of. Okay. We really just continue to beat this piece of meat, and it seems to me that I will soon go crazy from this activity. There is some kind of lever on top that switches some modes, but I still can't understand what it's for and what he makes a big difference here. But we still continue to mock this piece of meat in some way. And by the way, for some reason, all possible animations have disappeared. Looks like we accidentally broke something in this game. Wait, seriously? Does he laugh after we press on his mouth? And we can also click on his eye and he will wink at us. Okay, this is at least minimal entertainment here. By the way, there is also a Wheel of Fortune here, and we earned another 522 meatballs. And the mini game has changed slightly, and now we need to throw knives at these pieces of meat. Okay, it looks like this is some kind of minimal change here, but for some reason, all the meatballs have disappeared. And by the way, it really infuriates me how this steak laughs. It seems to me that his voice is as idiotic as possible. By the way, this game reminded me of a very old YouTube show in which there were fruits that were in the kitchen and they had eyes and a mouth. They were talking and participating in some skits. But to be honest, I don't quite remember what these videos were about. But I will definitely remind you that this YouTube show was called Annoying Orange. Yes, I remember this YouTube show too. It was funny, but I think it was much more interesting than just beating up me with a very goofy laugh. Okay, I really don't understand why other YouTubers on this game have a lot of views on their gameplay videos. To be honest, I chose this game only because it is very interesting to the audience. 
But for me personally, this game seems super idiotic because you can't do anything here other than just beat up this poor rack. Perhaps because many viewers find this face funny, but personally, this guy annoys me with his laughing voice and animation. That's why I think that right now is the best moment for us to move straight to the next more interesting game. I completely agree with you. That's why let's move straight to the next game right now after watching the latest stupid catch-up animation. Do we really have to watch this animation again? Okay, let's just do this and move on to the next game right now. Seriously? Finally the developers made a prison about me? I can't believe it. I didn't expect that anyone would even remember you in this game, but it looks like you were really very lucky. By the way, the developers even replaced the texture of some platforms with waffles. By the way, this really looks very cool. I really like the way they look here. Okay, now let's move on. I really want to see the first boss. By the way, I've already seen similar platforms somewhere. Well, it looks like some aspects here remain the same as in previous games. Oh, by the way, just look. This is a princess, and it looks like she is here as a prison guard. In fact, this role is not suitable for her at all because she is very cute. But nevertheless, I think that she will not aggressively attack us. She did not even run after us to the second floor, but remained below among her candy subordinates. Now we need to run through these waffles, and we'll go straight to the room with the toilets. By the way, I really want to see what the candy toilets will look like. I really hope that there won't be any candy poop or anything like that in the toilets. I think she will look exactly the same. But no, just look. It's decorated in the style of a circus. Okay. Now, let's go down to the dungeon. By the way, for some reason no candies have been added to this dungeon. It's very similar to the usual prison of the amazing digital circus. And here is a button that activates additional platforms for passing through this lava. Well, today we really very quickly cope with all the challenges that appear before us. It looks like the developers have really simplified this game a lot. Now let's head straight into the corridor with the rolling boulder. By the way, we have already seen a similar corridor somewhere. I think that it will not be difficult for us to go through this entire corridor because this test is as easy as possible. It seems to me that only the most weak-minded player will not be able to pass this test. It's actually as light as possible. All you need is just time to run around the corner and wait for this ball to roll past you. Guys, it seems to me that something happened to our voices. I hope that this is temporary. Let's head straight to the second boss and see what he looks like. Wait, is this really me? Okay. I didn't expect that I would be the second boss in a game about a princess. Okay. It looks like now we need to get away from me. And it seems to me that I'm not in a big hurry for our player. It seems to me that our voices really broke. Wait a minute. I don't sound like I do in real life. Maybe we have some problems? Actually, there should be a teaser for the next episode of our cartoon, but it seems to me that only our smartest viewers will guess what the problem really is. Okay, you can interpret this as you want. But there's a little secret hidden here. Are you saying that this is happening because we went to that same haunted house? Oh, I don't think I should say that. Sorry guys, but this is still secret information for you. Don't worry, this problem is just for a day. Well now we need to drink an energy drink and start completing this race. By the way, I really like how the developers designed this race and made it completely different from the original race from Barry's Prison Escape. Yes, this location really looks extremely different but I like her very much. In general, I love it when developers of such modes add something of their own here because this makes this project more interesting and exciting. We have already played a huge number of clones of Barry's Prison Break, but when they add something of their own to them, it becomes more interesting to play. Bro, your voice looks really terrible. I think you should work on fixing it. Wait, is that really my voice? Am I the only one who hears this? God, this is really terrible. I want this to end as soon as possible. To do this, we need to try to complete this game as quickly as possible. Let's try to pass it without mistakes. Now we need to jump on these colorful pipes, and after that, we will go to our least favorite test with valves. Imagine how terrible it would be if these voices remained with us forever. It seems to me that in this case, I would stop talking altogether and communicate in sign language. By the way, guys, about the new episode, episodes of our animated series have not been released for a very long time. I really want one of you to write in the comments about how much he is looking forward to new episodes of The Amazing Digital Circus and whether he is waiting at all. And I want you to write the approximate date of the new episode in the comments and whoever guesses the exact release date of the next episode will record a joint video with us. 
Yes, we haven't recorded a video with our subscribers for a very long time, and I think it would be as cool as possible if we did it today. Okay, now we're heading straight to the test where we need to run with fans. I hope this challenge is changed too. Oh no. Besides the fact that the developers did not change this test, so they also left a very small distance between the platforms, and because of this, this test becomes as boring as possible, because we can just be AFK, and we will still pass it. Okay. Now let's get to this wind tunnel and head straight to the third boss in this game. I really want to know who it is. I think I already guess who the next boss might be. By the way, we again failed to jump into this ventilation on the first try, but nevertheless, we finally got to the cafeteria. By the way, just look. It's Pomni. I really hope that she won't throw various food at us very often, otherwise she will slow us down very much. This will greatly prevent us from progressing further in this game, but it seems that her HP is decreasing very quickly and she is in no hurry to catch up with us. Okay, we were finally able to defeat her. Now let's go to the last test before meeting the final boss. I really want to see who the final boss of this game will be. Guys, it's most unusual for me to hear your voices like that, and especially your voice. I think this really sounds as disgusting as possible. I really hope that this is really the last video when we hear our voices like this. Well, now let's go straight to the wind tunnel with lasers. I really hope that we will be able to pass this pipe without losing even once. Are you serious? In general, it seems to me that it's impossible to lose in this level. At least we haven't been able to do it even once because it seems to me that this is real. One of the easiest tests in this game. Well, now we'll get to the very top and go straight to the test, where we will need to install bridges between platforms. Lord, it seems to me that your indignation, which is expressed in this voice, looks really stupid. And by the way, the developers decided to simplify this test and remove the bridges between these platforms. Now let's defeat the final boss, and that final boss is the giant evil cane. I think we won't have any problems defeating him because this guy really moves as slowly as possible. He won't be able to catch up with us. He's in no hurry to grab us and it seems to me that he doesn't even mind having food shot at him. We only have a couple of shots left to defeat him. It's good that in this test we don't have to shoot directly into his hands. Great, we finally passed this boss and now let's head to the car. Wait, is it me or am I not seeing the car here at all? Oh, it looks like the developers removed it from this game. Well, this game was pretty easy and we beat it very quickly. Now let's move straight to the next game with normal voices. Hello everyone, friends. Today we will become a giant tornado. Like, will we become a giant air vortex that will suck everything inside itself? Um, it looks like yes. Okay, let's see what you need to do in this game. It looks like here we need to become the most gigantic tornado on this map by sucking up all the objects around us. Well, okay, let's get on with it. Wow! The dudes who are in the top in terms of points have a lot of points. It seems to me that it will take us a very long time to get to their top, but I hope that today we can become top one. It seems to me that becoming top one in this game will be really very difficult, but we have already scored 150 points, and it seems to me that after we score more than 3,000, our increase will go much faster. Now we need to fly along the shore so that we can eat how many more trees because they give quite a lot of points. And by the way, it seems to me that the rest of the big tornadoes are starting to try to squeeze us into a corner, but I hope they won't be able to do it. I think they won't be able to squeeze us because the larger the tornado, the less it moves and so far we are moving at quite a high speed. By the way, what irritates me is that in the center of the location there is a separate VIP area that you cannot approach. It seems to me that even without this zone, we will be able to become top one here. We've already scored 1,000 points. We need to wait until the game gives us the opportunity to eat buildings, and after that, we will begin to grow even faster. We've already scored 1,500 points. We're really starting to grow a lot faster. But on this map, there are a lot of different large tornadoes that really want to eat us. I really hope that we can avoid meeting them. The most important thing is to stay away from them. It seems to me that now we need to focus on gaining points so that we can become a really big tornado in this game. I think we really need to put a lot of effort into this, but now the most important thing is to get the opportunity to eat buildings. Otherwise, without this, we will not be able to become the biggest tornado. We finally have the opportunity to eat buildings. Great. Now with this, we will grow much faster. I really want to see my nickname in the top as soon as possible. By the way, look, there's some tornado here that we can eat. Great. 
We defeated him, and now we have become even bigger. Okay, now we just need to concentrate on getting as many points as possible. By the way, the guys who are in the top have more than 100,000 points. It seems to me that it will be extremely difficult for us to score more points than the top one player on this map. I think we will try very hard to at least get to the top. At least we are growing fast enough already. In 2.5 minutes, we managed to score almost 6,000 points. Yes, this is indeed quite a fast growth, but nevertheless, we still need to concentrate on eating as many buildings as possible so that we can defeat them. By the way, this big tornado really wants to eat us, but it seems to me that we are fast enough to escape from it. Yes, we are really growing quite quickly, but now the most important thing is to make sure that the other players cannot eat us. They are still trying to fly after us, and now they have us pinched. But I think we will still have the opportunity to escape from them all. Great. It seems to me that they have no chance of catching up with us. We are running away from them very quickly, and it looks like all these big tornadoes have given up. It seems to me that now they will start to eat each other, and I hope that they will really be able to defeat the other tornadoes. But it seems to me that if one of them eats all the others from Tornado, then it will be much more difficult for us to fight against the first place on the map, because it will be as strong as possible. And by the way, they are trying to eat us again, but I think we are still fast enough to escape from them. These tornadoes really play very aggressively, but I think that we can still escape from all of them. Now, by the way, we have already risen to fourth place in the top because we scored almost 10,000 points. It looks like one of the top tornadoes ate one of his rivals. I see a huge blue tornado ahead, and I think we need to head towards it now. By the way, we are already in third place because it looks like the previous third place was eaten by another player. It seems to me that this guy will also be quite fast, and it will be extremely difficult for us to reach him because he already sees that we want to eat him and start moving in the opposite direction from us. I think we can still pin him in the corner and defeat him. Now the main thing is to simply lead him towards that corner so that he does not have the opportunity to escape to any other corner. Wait, seriously? The top one player just ate the top two player, and it looks like we're now moving up to second place. Okay, now we need to eat this player so that we can definitely retain second place. Great! Now our gap from third place is really very big. It looks like other players won't have a chance to catch up with us. We already have 26,000 points. And by the way, we started moving much slower. It seems to me that this may complicate our farm, but nevertheless, now we need to continue to try to earn points on this map. It's very cool that we can now eat any target on this map, and we don't have a limit on points besides those gifts in the VIP zone. But it seems to me that we definitely won't donate Robux to this game in order to eat these gifts because it's useless. Yes, it also seems to me that these gifts will be as useless as possible because they do not give such a large number of points that would give us any big advantage here. At least our gap from first place here is 220,000 points. It seems to me that this difference is impossible to catch up with. To do this, we need to grind this map for an hour. But nevertheless, I think that we can try to do this. I really want to get first place in this game. It seems to me that this is quite possible for us. Now we need to concentrate on other players who are below us in this top, so that they definitely cannot overtake us. It seems to me that this will be slightly useless because other players will definitely not be able to catch up with us. But now we were able to eat a whole crowd of other players, and now we have 40,000 points. I think that in principle it is possible to overtake a player who is in the top one now. It seems to me that, in fact, we still won't be able to get to first place because our gap with this player is really extremely large and we need our enemies to constantly feed us so that we can catch up with him. I think that we still shouldn't give up and keep trying to win. Now I see two more tornadoes that are chasing each other, and I think that we can stop them in their game of catch-up. But unfortunately, it seems to me that they are too fast for us to catch up with them. Okay, now we still have to try to earn points on this map. But I really want us to be able to earn more points. Look, there is a tornado ahead that we can kill, but again, it will be really as difficult as possible because these tornadoes move very quickly. I would really like for us to have the opportunity to speed ourselves up in some way. It seems to me that we really won't be able to earn this opportunity. Below, from the paid boosts, you can only double your size or get a shield so that no one eats us. But I think that we definitely won't use these boosts because it's as unfair as possible. And we love to play fair games. 
It seems to me that one of the most interesting boosts here is the opportunity to blow up all the other players and become the only players on this map, but I think that this is also extremely unfair because the guy who is now in first place really earned these points for a very long time, and it seems to me that it would be the most offensive if I had 200,000 points, but someone killed me for 100 Robux. Yes, that's why I think that we will continue to just grind points in the hope that something can happen to the top one player. But it seems to me that this guy really can't be defeated just like that. We need to come up with some kind of plan. It seems to me that the only plan that can work here is if we break this guy's computer or turn off his internet so that he leaves the game. Otherwise, it seems to me that we have no other opportunities to defeat him with free boosts. So let's just continue to enjoy second place and try to keep it... I really want to kill this guy because he has as many as 26,000 points, and it seems to me that if we kill him, then we can definitely become even more... But it seems to me that the guy who is now in the top one place is more interested in us as a target than that guy. So he decided to stand up for him. Perhaps these are friends who play together. Okay, now we need to keep running away from this guy because I think he won't just let us go. He keeps running after us. But it seems to me that we have no way to find any escape routes because he's just trying to pin us in a corner. I think we need to change our direction. It seems to me that this won't help us either because this guy still continues to run after us. And it seems to me that he won't just let us go. Therefore, we just need to come to terms with the fact that now we will win and become another 60,000 points higher. Okay, I think that now we will really lose, but nevertheless we were able to get to second place today and we fought pretty hard. But unfortunately this guy is still able to defeat us due to the fact that he is more skilled in this game and I, I admit it. Well, now I think we should open some eggs with new skins for the money we earned. Okay, let's try to open these eggs that cost as much as 3,000 points in one attempt. I really hope that we really get something rare. So we open the first egg, and unfortunately we got the most boring skin here. Okay, did we really spend 3,000 points on this? It seems to me that this was the most useless waste of money. I hope that in the second attempt we will get something better. But unfortunately, we got this boring skin again. Well, this game was quite interesting. I really liked it, and I hope that we will play it again. If we enter it again, I think we will definitely be able to earn first place here. Now, let's move on to the next game. Hello everyone, friends. Today, we will run away from the killer. From the killer? Um, okay, what will we have to do here? Look, it's a lucky block, but 